Hi, I'm Lauren, and today I'll be reviewing all of Injun's new Super Stick Manny Press On Nails. I've been wearing glue ons or press on nails since 2019, and I have tried so many brands. I love all of Injun's original, these are their glue on nails, so I'm super excited to try the press on nails, which honestly, that's kind of confusing because they call this press on nail instant Manny, but these are the glue ons. So now they're calling the actual press on nails the Super Stick Manny. So it's a little, it is confusing. I'm wondering if all up in June just never thought that they would make press-ons, <laughs> but here they are. And now they can't change the name of their old product. Who knows? But anyways, in this video, I'll go through everything you need to know about the Super Stick Manny. I'm going to compare it to other nail brands that I've tried like Dashing Diva and Impress. I'm going to compare it to all of Injun's glue on nails, and then I'll show you what these are like to apply, how long they last, how easy they are to remove, and if they damaged my nails. If you like what's new in beauty, subscribe to my channel. I have tons of nail reviews on here that I will also link below in case you want to check any of those out. And yeah, let's get into the review. I originally started my DIY manicure journey with the Dashing Diva Press On Nails and to date, those are the best that I've tried, especially compared to the Kiss and Press ones. For some reason, those just would not last on me. One thing I really like about the Olive and June nails is that they're made from 94% recycled materials. They say that they're non-damaging, they're non-toxic, and they're vegan and cruelty-free. These are also $8.00 instead of Dashing Divas, which are $9, and these come with two more nails. So they have 32 nails, a prep pad, a cuticle pusher, a two-in-one file and buffer, and then 32 adhesive tabs, and then like their unique proprietary tab wheel, which I will get into later in this review when I show you how to apply the nails. So you actually get more bang for your buck, whereas compared to Dashing Diva, it's a dollar more, you get less nails, but Dashing Diva's application is a little bit different because those come with the adhesive already stuck to the nail and these, it's like a two-step process, which I've never tried that before, so we'll see how it goes. The Olive and June are around the same price as the Impress, so it's $8, which is, I would say Impress kind of varies depending on where you buy it but the nail sizes on Impress just did not fit on my nails. I had a really hard time finding ones that were large enough for my nails, and I, I guess I have wide nail beds. I don't think that they're exceptionally large, but for some reason the Impress and my nails just did not work well together. The Olive and June Super Sick Manny comes in 31 different styles, so there's 12 solid colors and then 19 designs, and they have two shapes, so there's squoval, which is square oval, and then round, and then they come in extra short and short, which I really appreciate because especially with press-ons, if they're too long, they're not gonna last on me. Dashing Diva does come in a long version, so they have three different lengths, but I feel like for a press-on, a long just, unless it's like a one-day wear, like I don't know how you would get longer than that just because the adhesive, like I, I've never tried the long, I don't really like long nails, but if you've tried it, let me know what that's like in the comments because to me, I feel like glue on nails, if you're gonna add a little bit of length, you just have so much more security on your actual nail without the nail moving around at all. So I haven't worn press-ons in a while because I did discover glue ons and yes, they do damage your nails a little bit more, but I feel like for the longevity and this security that you get with a glue on, I do prefer those. So the fact that I'm putting a press-on nail today is actually kind of a big deal because I, stopped using them. I'm not a huge press on nail fan after discovering glue on nails. So if these impress me, then you know they're impressive. <laughs> one thing I like about Olive and June is that they have basic colors. That's one thing that I struggled with with Dashing Diva back in the day is they had a ton of designs, which are really fun if you like designs. They always have an accent nail and it just some of the designs were a little bit loud for me. I'm just a very basic nail gal. I don't like a lot of designs most of the time. Sometimes I'll do a fun one, but usually I just need something solid and really basic. And I like that Olive and June has a good variety of colors and just good basics. You know what I mean? I feel like since 2019, Dashing Diva has come out with some. I think that they've listened to some of the complaints that they probably received from people where it's like, I like your nails, but I don't want an accent nail every time, or I don't want some crazy design so I did just check out their website and they do have more basics so I will say that's great to hear another thing I like about Olive and June is they have a whole system that has everything you would ever need for your nails 
I like to get these as a starter set and then just buy nails as needed after. So if you're just getting into nails, it is a really good place to start. It comes with their remover pot, which I am obsessed with. I'll show you what it looks like later in this video. It has a cuticle pusher, a plastic one, so it's not too abrasive on your nails. It comes with their buffer, their cuticle serum, which I'm obsessed with. I keep it in my handbag. I keep it in my nightstand. Like I have it everywhere. I just, it hydrates your cuticles and makes them look so good. And then it comes with nail clippers, a hand serum, a nail file, and a bag. So I think that's a really good place to start if you are new to DIY manicures. So this is where it gets kind of funny is Olive and June is claiming that their nails are the longest lasting tab manicure on the market. It lasts 58% times longer than their competition. They also claim that these will last for seven days of wear time, which Dashing Diva claims Claims that too and I've gotten 10 days out of Dashing Diva so this will be an interesting test I guess the difference would be that the Dashing Diva isn't necessarily a tab system whereas the Olive and June you put the sticker on your nail and then you apply the nail to the, like, the sticker part so maybe that's what they mean but either way if I can get seven days out of a press-on nail I will be happy so we will definitely be reviewing the longevity in this video. And then to compare the super stick on to the glue on nail. So they say that the super stick nail is thinner and it's more flexible. It comes in only 16 different sizes with a total of 32 nails where the glue ons come with 21 different sizes or 42 nails total, which I really appreciate because you can get two full sets out of the glue ons. I'm going to zoom in on my hands. I'm going to show you my full nail routine and I'll report back at the end and just tell you guys what they were like to apply and then I'll wear them around for a few days and give you my final review on how long they lasted and what the final nail damage looks like. So let's get into the application. I always start with buffing my nails off. This just gets rid of any ridges, any leftover glue or any stuff on my nails from previous nail applications. And then I use the nail polish remover pod that I was talking about. It's acetone free and it's just so easy to use. It's mess free. It's just, I love it. Now I push back my cuticles. This is the best cuticle remover I have ever tried. It's so easy to use. You just brush it on and then you grab the cuticle pusher sticks. You can use your own or the one that comes in the kit. I like wood, plastic, even metal. You just don't wanna to be too hard on your cuticles. So just push them back gently. That's why I like that cuticle remover serum because it loosens everything up. You don't wanna cut your cuticles. You just wanna push them back. Cutting them can lead to infection, hangnails, just other issues down the road that we don't wanna deal with. And then I wipe my nails off with a tissue. You don't wanna wash your hands. It's better to just use the alcohol pot and get everything off. You don't want your nails to absorb any water or anything because that will make them come off sooner. I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison to the glue-on versus the stick-on. So the pink is the glue-on and you can see that it is firmer than the press-on. So these are the nails. You wanna go into nail size selection and you just try to find a match. You wanna find one that fits on your nail, isn't too wide, but also it doesn't leave too much on the sides. And what's nice is the nails have numbers on them. So it, it technically should make it easier to find nails, but because these were black, it was really hard to see the numbers. And I did kind of struggle with finding the match. It took me a little bit longer than usual, but it, again, it's because it's black, not because they don't have numbers. Okay, now you just wanna file your nail off real quick. This is just gonna help everything stick better. And then you go in with the prep pad, wipe everything off, and then we're gonna get into the application. I don't know what happened to the recording of me putting on that first pinky nail, but this is the proprietary wheel with the sticker tabs on it. So we're just gonna show you guys the second nail. So you just find the size that matches the number on the nail, like the actual nail. So you do have to kind of see the number that's on the nail, and then you see how there's numbers on that wheel. So you take off the purple part, and then you put the whole wheel on your nail. It's shaped so that it goes against your cuticle, and then you wanna press it down, make sure it's very secured, and then you take the wheel off, and now you go in with applying the actual nail. So if you can see there, I got that nail sticker really close to my cuticle, which is not ideal. I, I tried to get it away from the cuticle, but it's hard to see because it is clear. So it's just something to look out for. So you just continue the process. So it does have a pink little cover over the purple sticker parts. 
So you just take that off and then you grab, this is what I struggled with with my pinky too. When you go to take the purple off, sometimes it takes the sticker off with it. So I was trying really hard to have that not happen, but it happened. So I was like, okay, maybe I could just salvage it this way, put the sticker on backwards. And I was like, no, I shouldn't do that because obviously it's, the sticky is probably different on each side or it's just easier to apply from the wheel directly to the finger. So I was able to put it back on the wheel and then put it back on my middle finger the right way, but that did take some time. <laughs> so you wanna push it on there, make sure there's no air bubbles or anything. Don't get it too close to your cuticle, which I did again. You can also see how it's longer than my actual nail. Again, I have short nail beds, but if you don't, hopefully that won't happen to you. And then press the nail down for a while, just make sure it's really secure. So you're gonna continue this process, obviously on every single nail. I always start on my pinkies when I apply and I finish with my thumbs because you need your thumbs the most. And when you have a nail on your thumb, it's harder to do everything. So it's just try to get to like pinky to middle finger. You could do one hand and then move on to the next hand and then finish with your pointer finger and your thumb. That's just something I've learned over the years. Okay, so this is the final result. I love how they look. I think they're beautiful. They're definitely longer. I mean, this isn't extra short. They're pretty long, but I think they look so good. I'm very impressed. And I also like how the profile looks very thin. It looks like a natural nail, not like a big chunky acrylic. I just finished putting the nails on and this is extra short. These are pretty long, I would say, but I have this cool cutting tool that I'm gonna experiment with. First, I wanna talk about the application because it wasn't as easy as Dashing Diva. So they come on these little wheels and taking the plastic, like the pink plastic part off of the wheel was really challenging for me. But then what you do, so I like how these are numbered and the numbers are, can you see that? The numbers are the same number that's on the nail, but because these nails were black, it was actually really hard to see the number, but I was able to. So the number is on the side with the little tab. So that's, it's fine, it's easy to find. And then on this, you can see the corresponding number is what you line up on your nail. I prefer Dashing Diva because that just has the sticky tab on the actual nail, so it's just a one-step process. You take that off, stick it on your nail, hold it down, and you're good to go. This was like a two-step process, and it was kind of frustrating. So another thing that I struggled with is I kept getting, I was trying to keep it away from my cuticle, but I kept putting it too close to my cuticle, and so they recommend putting the nail kind of underneath your cuticle, and it makes it look really seamless and last longer but I kept getting the sticky tab on there and it was just, it was, yeah, it was just too close. So I don't know how I would fix that next time because I kept trying to fix it this time and it kept happening, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. Like you can't see the sticky tab on top of the nail anywhere. So I think it's fine. But what I want to try to do now, this is something that I struggled with with all press on nails. The sticky tab is longer than my natural nail. And so you can see on the bottom, it's kind of showing, which is fine. No one's really seeing the bottom of your nail anyway. But when you go to file it down, it gets really goopy and sticky. And so I got this cool tool that is a nail clipper and it's rounded. And so you just put your nail in there and then it cuts it and gives you a more consistent length throughout. I'm just gonna experiment. So cutting them is really easy. Oh, and then my comparison to the glue on nails is they are softer. So the glue on nails are more firm than these, which is good. Like these feel exactly like every other press on nail I've ever tried. And they do feel really secure on, like I'm pushing them and they don't go up. You kind of actually, you can kind of feel <laughs> the pressure in your cuticle, which is where they start to bug me because after a few days, these will usually start to slide around and get stuck in your hair and it's a whole thing, but we're gonna see if this happens with these. So I just cut the middle nail as you can see, and then we're just gonna try to file it down and see if that sticky tab gets in the way. I do think they look really pretty. They're glossy and they're just, it's a good fall color. Okay, so the sticky tab actually isn't sticking out, which I really like. So that's, that's more my preferred length. Sorry, I did my middle finger, guys, but yeah. So you can see the difference in length here. But overall, I think that they're really cool. We're just gonna wear them around, see how long they last. If they last for seven days, I will be impressed with these. I think 
They look awesome, they're pretty easy to apply, and the price really can't be beat, so I'll check back in in a few days. I'm here with my final review of these nails, and I am so impressed, like, incredible. These are amazing. I am on day seven, which is how long they say they will last, and every single nail is still on. None of them came off during the week. I took three showers, I gave my dog two baths, don't ask <laughs> and they're still on like they're really i'm so impressed so i have some notes on my phone that i was writing down during the week that i wanted to read you so that i would make sure i remembered everything let's see first they it's weird because some of them slide around like look at my pinky nail you can see i don't know if you can see that actually but it slides all the way down not all the way but like definitely far away from my cuticle and then you can push it back up. And it did that since the first day. So that's, it didn't seem to affect how long the nails lasted, but they definitely slide around a lot. Some of them, but then other ones didn't move at all, which is, I just think it's so bizarre, but it didn't seem to affect anything. So I like that. One thing the instructions said to do that I don't recommend doing is putting them too close to your cuticle. I've been wearing glue-on nails for so long that I forgot how much these slide up. So if you're trying to push on something, they definitely move up. And if they're too close to your cuticle, it's it's not like it hurts, but it's not comfortable feeling. And so I would leave a little bit of space. And then another thing that I struggled with with application, which you guys saw, but you know how I got the sticker really close to my cuticle and then I put the nail down? So the sticker would come out the top part and so it kind of looked like my cuticle was hanging over the nail, but it's just the sticker. And so a lot of goop came off during the week where I was just constantly like rolling the nail around trying to get the sticker off of the nail. Let's see, can you see any of them? No, I mean, they actually still look really good, but that was something I noticed. And then also the underside of the nail, because my nail beds are so short, the stickers stuck out farther than my nail. So in the instructions, they recommended cutting your nail short. I don't recommend cutting your nail short if you have short nail beds, because then you'll have a lot of the sticky underneath. And same thing where the sticky balls up and you can kind of just peel it off. What's interesting though, is with other brands, sometimes when you're peeling the bottom part off, it would peel the whole nail off. Like it would pull all the sticky out from underneath and then the whole nail would just come off with it. And that didn't happen with these. So I'm really impressed. Another thing that was really weird was my thumbnail started lifting. Like you can kind of see it's lifting a little bit again. And I just pushed it back down and then it stayed secure for like five more days. That happened on day two. So they definitely work. Like they're, <laughs> I'm so, I'm really truly impressed. One other application tip that I have just with any press on nail that you try is do not get your hands wet for at least one hour after you apply them. That will just help with the longevity. But yeah, I <laughs> these are great. I, I definitely think if you like these types of nails to give them a try. I almost wish glue on nails were the same nail because these are a lot more comfortable to wear. They're just a little bit more bendy and they don't chip. One thing else that I really liked is I cut them shorter and with glue on nails, when you cut them shorter, it chips off what the nail looks like. So if it has a pattern or if it has a glossy top coat, it chips it off and it kind of looks worn immediately. And with these, if you look really close, like they are still really shiny and they're doing great. So I wish these, I wish all nails were just like this and then you could either use glue or these stickers with them, which I guess you could, I should try that actually. I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna try putting these on with glue and see how that works. Cause I really think the nails are very comfortable. So I have to take them off today, which I'm disappointed about because I wanted to see how long they would last, but I'm getting a surgery tomorrow and they say you can't have nails on for that. So I'm just gonna show you what it's like to remove them. I just stuck my nail underneath and then pulled it off. This thing, I mean, it's still really on there. <laughs> These nails are so good. So that's leftover stickiness, but my nail underneath looks like it's totally healthy. So I like that. I, I think it's really awesome that these aren't 
easy to remove. That just shows you that these nails can definitely last longer than a week. Cause these, I mean, these things are really, really on there. The only thing that sucks about press on nails compared to glue on nails is like when you're trying to open things where you need to use a little bit of like the lip of your nail to get underneath, they push on your cuticle, they kind of slide around and they are, I don't know, they just feel different. I feel like glue on nails just feel more secure on your nail and these just slide around a little bit more. But the removal, I mean, <laughs> These are not wanting to come off. I really wish I could leave them longer for this review, but I say get them. I say if you want to try them, definitely, definitely try these nails. I'm very, very happy with this. So with the sticky left over, I might just take acetone and like rub it on, or you could just try to ball it up and roll it off. But that sticky is really, really on there, which is amazing. <laughs> I just took all the nails off and I do have a complaint. The Sticky is really hard to get off the nails. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So I tried acetone, it did absolutely nothing. I washed my hands and now I'm just balling it up and rolling it off and that seems to be working, but it's definitely a little bit more time consuming than other nail brands that I've tried. <laughs> so I feel like that's a good problem to have. Like the sticky is too sticky, then the opposite, like whatever happens with kiss nails every time I put them on where they just come right off. So. I just wanted to come back and tell you guys that be prepared, they don't just slide right off, but I think that's a good thing. I think these are the best press on nails I've ever tried. So thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you found it helpful. And if you've tried these or if you had any experience or any tips or tricks, let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and you will be notified every time I post something new. And yeah, I'll see you next time.